What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the AEW Unrivaled Walmart exclusive Matt and Nick Jackson Young Buck figures. I'm actually quite excited for these. I think they're very toyetic. I found these on my toy hunt from yesterday. If you guys missed the toy hunt from yesterday, I posted it very late. It was around 6 p.m. Central Time or something like that. Definitely go check it out. The store was absolutely loaded, and today we're loaded up in this review because we're going to review these guys, and I cannot wait for it because they look amazing. I'm actually very, very excited to get into these, find out what they're all about, and I've heard that they're very butter smooth so we're gonna find out all about that but we have Matt we have Nick I know these figures are facing some controversy which we'll get into we'll break it all down and get into the lore but breaking down this packaging I like it a lot I love the blue foil I always enjoy the unrivaled packaging I think it's very nice and I love the callback you know it's been around for a few years now but I like when they venture out and they try different foil colors like this royal blue or this really light blue looks so sick I think it looks fantastic and you can see Nick in there that's Matt you dummy Idiot. They do have the tassels in their faces, which I don't know how I feel about just yet. But essentially, the only difference between these are the head sculpts. But you need both head sculpts. Or, I guess, to be honest, I mean, their belts are a little different. But you could buy one of the same and then just take one of your extra Nick heads and put it on there. Or take one of your extra Matt heads and put it on there. But today we got both of them, and they are looking pretty good. I'm excited about these, man. But on the side, Matt is 142. Nick is 143. Gold foil on the side here. AEW logos, of course. You get some some shots of the bucks on the back there. Ah. <sighs> But on the back, they do have their gold signatures, and then it says, Watch AW Dynamite Rampage. And that is pretty much our packaging for our Young Buck Walmart exclusive action figures from AEW and Jazzware. So let's not wait any longer. Let's crack these guys out of their packaging, put them on the rotating base, and find out what these two guys are all about. So here are the Bucks of Youth out of the packaging. I feel like they could fall at any moment, man. I don't know how damn well balanced they are. But we're going to, of course, get into their accessories, break them all down for you guys. And they really don't come with a ton, but they also, at the same time, have a lot of bells and whistles, which is kind of contradictory. But it'll all make sense as we go out throughout the review, man. But this might be my favorite pair of Bucks, but I don't think we can quite say that until the end of the video where we can, you know, of course, address everything and see exactly how it all plays out, man. But let's dive into the Young Bucks accessories that you get with each guy. I'm going to do all of their accessories together for the record, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Bucks themselves, break down all the details, and get into some Young Buck figure comparisons. All right, so for their accessories, you don't get a whole lot, you know. It's not like an Ultimate where their jacket arms pop out. It's just interchangeable hands here, no interchangeable heads. But both guys do come with the normal grappling hands. Here are Nick Jackson's. It's the standard AEW and Rebel grappling hands. And then Matt pretty much comes with the same thing, except his right hand has black hand tape on it, but it does have the skin tone peg. But then both guys also come with interchangeable interchangeable fisted hands which they come with out of the packaging and they are the exact same so Nick comes with a pair and Matt also comes with a pair exact sculpt exact everything and even the right hand is not black hand tape like the grappling hand and then Nick comes with a right number three hand with no finger tape and then Matt comes with a left number three hand with finger tape here on the tip but it's only for Matt's left hand and then Nick's right hand so that is pretty much it for your accessories that you get all right so we're going to get into the figures themselves we're going to start off with Nick Jackson I think this this is the most controversial thing you're going to see about these figures. They had these tassels with glitter on them or something like that that came down in the front. And while it is accurate, it's a very strange choice, man. And they're not like cloth. They are kind of a rubbery material. And I think you could come in with an X-Acto knife and chop those off. At the end of the video, when we're doing the wrap-up with the photos, I will show you what it looks like with these cut off. I'm going to cut them off and then put them... I'll probably... Ooh, I don't know, man. I'll have to do that before I do the thumbnail, maybe. But I'll do some figure photography with them snipped off for sure. But if we remove the beads and get into the head... God in heaven. Here is Nick. And, uh... I don't know. I'm not really feeling that head sculpt. He kind of looks like a, that one vampire off of 30 Days of Night, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of what vibes it's giving me, but I do like the beard and everything, and maybe I'm seeing it kind of warped because the beads are going down in his face, but yeah, I'm not a big fan. I do like the headband, though. I like the headband. I like the hair sculpt. I just don't really care for the likeness on these head sculpts. I think he's had, he's for sure had better head sculpts, but they kind of flail out, as you guys can see there. Um, I'm definitely cutting that stuff off, though. I don't like that, but from the neck down, I think this is where the 
goods are. I think this is where all the good stuff takes place. We have this vest jacket deal that goes over the front. It says Young Bucks. It's got all these smiley faces on it. It's got the paint splatter. Very toyetic. You even get some stripage and green. Lots of great colors and brightness. You have the Elite on the back, which I think is cool. One thing is I wish these guys came with the trios titles. I think that would have been money. I don't know why they couldn't just do that for us. And I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have these beads like on the side here, which isn't the biggest deal, but it's worth mentioning. But the paint splatter all looks good, and I like how it kind of hides the joints, but the cuffs look good. Everything here is nice. I like the jackets, and you could easily switch the torso with a different young buck to give them the wrestling gear, which is also cool, but they do look good on display just like they are. I like the white belt on Nick, and the pants are very cool. You have all these, I'm pretty sure this is screen printed on. The tights, or the the pants here, they are the one, like cargo pants that have, you know, sort of like a Jeff Hardy situation. You got the green zebra stripes here with the smiley faces, or the little emoji faces there, and this feels screen printed on here, like I was saying before. Especially down here, it feels like old Kenny Omega figures from Series 1 of Unmatched. It feels like it's screen printed on there, which I think would make sense. But on Nick's, I'm noticing that there's a black stripe here, but then on Matt's, you don't get that black stripe. So they aren't the exact same, I don't think. But Matt also has a black belt in there, and that's really the only differences I'm seeing between these two, besides their head sculpts. But Matt's head sculpt actually looks pretty decent when you, when you pull this up. It's not half bad. I definitely like Matt's head sculpt over Nick's. It actually has some likeness there. I like Matt's head sculpt. I think it looks a lot better, but he also has a headband in there, which looks good. The hair sculpt's good. I, I really like this. I really like the coloration on this figure, but the only difference in the pants that I'm seeing is that. So these shoes were actually custom made and sold, I'm pretty sure, to the fans of the Young Bucks and the Elite, and they look damn good, and they're not exactly accurate, so they didn't have to pay the licenses and all the different fees, but the zebra print and all the colors look amazing. Very MDT-esque, I would say. And they look pretty damn accurate for the most part. The logo on the side is a little different, but I'm loving these. I think they nailed it. I don't own a pair or anything, but if anybody actually owns a pair of these down in the comment section below, I'd like to know. But I like all these little details, man. I, r I really am liking... I'm, it's like every time I look at the figure, I'm finding a new piece of deco or a new color or something like that. For some reason, this little square right here kind of looks like Ruby Soho. Are you seeing that? Kind of looks like Ruby Soho's face. Like that yellow pocket square, that little yellow square right here. Anyway, in terms of articulation, it feels really good. I am noticing a little bit of loose joints sometimes, but the double jointed arms are always just so magnificent. He has a decent ab crunch here. It will pop off on the top part, I've noticed though. But he, he he's pretty good. They're pretty good articulation wise, man. You can do the full splitsies. You can, what the hell is that? Is that paint apps that chipped off? He can kick forward really well. They do have double jointed knees. They have upper thigh cut and lower shin cut, which is always appreciated. The ankles move down and up, and he does have good ankle pivot here. No like foot rotation necessarily, but he does get the lower shin cut, which is always appreciated. And this is the mat compared to the Nick, but they have the exact same articulation. But yeah, I just think that those, you know, those the tassels going down in front of the face just look awkward. But I'm having a, I'm having some fun posing these guys around. But I do want to get into some Young Buck figure comparisons so you guys can kind of see the differences in all of our bucks that we've seen. So here are our Young Buck figure comparisons. We have the Series 1 on the right. We have the Amazon exclusive Unrivaled 2-pack. And some of these are fixed up a little. At least I know this Nick is right here. They're all stained. Oh, hell, Jesus. But then we have the GameStop exclusive bucks over there, which is pretty cool. So you have Amazon exclusive bucks, Walmart exclusive bucks, and GameStop exclusive bucks. But I think the real comparison that you want to see is the best versions of the Young Bucks we've seen so far from AEW and Jazzwares, and compare those to the new Walmart exclusive Young Bucks. So here is the new Walmart exclusive bucks up next to the Unrivaled Series 3 bucks, which I held as the best Unrivaled bucks or best buck figures we've ever gotten in history. And do these compare? I think they're definitely comparable. I think it's, you know, it's a tough ask to say which ones are better. I mean, I think you could say these are better, but I think if you had, I mean, ultimately, this figure didn't come with this head sculpt. This is the Series 1B matte head sculpt on here, so the original head sculpt on this figure was dreadful, but I guess you could say these head sculpts aren't very good either. So I guess you just kind of PYP, pick your poison. Anybody gets that damn reference, you're a damn real one. Anybody gets that reference, you, you are legitimate. PYP, pick your poison. But one thing we gotta do is I think we need to uh, pop these torsos off here and just kind of see what it looks like if you were to put, you know, these guys in their wrestling or, you know, if they 
they didn't have their jackets. If they didn't have their jackets and they were in there wrestling and whatnot, this is what they would look like. And that looks pretty good right there. And then if we come over here on mat, we can pop this off and then we're gonna pop this off. I still think that the Series 1B mat, that head sculpt's still the best mat head sculpt they've made to date probably, but I think that looks pretty damn good, man. All things considered, I think it looks damn good. So yeah, I like that. I like that. And I don't think it really affects their height. They look good. They can pose around nice. And that's really all you can ask for. But one thing I want to do is I want to put these guys in their MDT Tag Team Championships. And we're going to go ahead and put this right here. And I know these get this gear is going to look sick as hell with these championships because the zebra and the colorations and everything really stand out. So it looks damn good. But there's one more thing I want to do with these guys. And here we have the Supreme Kenny Omega up next to the Walmart Exclusive Bucks with the Unrivaled Series 3 torso swaps and head swaps. Just to kind of see, you know, kind of gives you an idea if you put them up next to Kenny Omega in the wrestling gear, this is kind of what it would look like. And I think that looks pretty damn good. But I think that pretty much wraps up your Young Buck figure comparison. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one one Walmart exclusive AEW Unrivaled Young Buck figure reviews. I did do the torso swap and left it here so you guys could kind of see what it would look like if you swap the torsos with the Series 3 Unrivaled Bucks. Now, I do have quite a few copies of those figures, so I'll probably be using them in, in and out between these different Bucks. That's the reason I picked those up is because I figured in the future I would do different swaps and things, and they look pretty good here. And I like these figures. I think that they're solid. I like the aesthetics of the figures. I do not like the tassels in the face, even though if it was accurate, I wish they came with an alternate head sculpt of some kind, I guess, but I do understand the accuracy. I just think it's it's very weird because it's for that specific entrance, and then it's like, get it the hell out the yard, so there is that. They certainly look good with the MDT tag titles, and that is cool to see the Bucks with those championships on updated figures and whatnot. I think some of the joints are loose on the jackets, like some of my biceps are a little bit loose, and then my legs are a little loose, but the figures still articulate well, and they were fun to shoot. But I still had a ton of fun posing the guys around in the arena and just getting some classic Fed action in. Always fun posing figures around in the arena. <laughs> but I like these figures. I do like these figures. I like the jackets. I like that they're very posable. I like all the colorations, of course. I mean, you could even say, I mean, their shoes and a lot of the gear looks very MDT inspired, if you will. It's got the pinks, the yellows, the blues. Got the white and black accents. Got some zebra print in there. These are sick. I like these a lot. Are they perfect? No, but AEW Jazzwares figures are so interchangeable that it doesn't bother me that much. But I would recommend them. I would recommend them, man. If you missed out on some of these other Young Bucks, these are some damn good young bucks to buy and then you could do head swaps or such if you want to do that and there's so many options now that we have these figures in hand and i think oh do they dethrone the series three bucks well if you take them at face value and you take them at exactly how they are out of the packaging from retail and you don't throw into account head swaps and stuff I mean, hell, even if you include head swaps and stuff, you might be looking at it, man. I like that these don't have the damn loose tassels everywhere. And I like the loose tassels in a specific way. I don't like that the glitter chips off and, you know, they get kind of sporadic sometimes. But in terms of not having to deal with that and pose these guys around, I think these might be the best Young Bucks we have seen from AEW and Jazzwares. Really wish we were getting those damn Supreme ones, man. I, I wanted those so damn bad. So badly. But I am damn happy to have Sting, though, coming. I'm not gonna say that. I would trade the Young Bucks Supremes for Sting Supreme. But I did want those damn Young Buck Supreme figures, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our Patreon members and a brand-new signee, Jonathan Jimenez. Huge shout-out to my man over there for signing up to the Patreon, man. appreciate you so very much over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so very much for all that you do. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Toys. I'd love to know what you guys think of these down in the comment section below. And don't forget, these are hitting Walmart stores. They're Walmart exclusive, so don't get crazy. I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.